hey guys this is henry here again okay in this video i want to be talking about pancake swap a lot of people have been finding it difficult to purchase coins on pan pancake swap most times it comes with different errors you don't just understand why your purchase isn't going through right now i've watched several videos on youtube and i noticed these people are still making the process difficult i don't know why you can't just do a video that is um, straightforward, that a layman will understand, that it's just A, B, C. So I decided to do this um, video to uh, teach everyone how to um, buy cryptocurrencies from PancakeSwap. Because right now, people are talking about SafeMoon, people are talking about Suge, people are talking about some new latest cryptocurrencies that are coming out and that are looking promising. But a lot of people can't find it on other exchanges except from PancakeSwap and other um, um, uh, decks. So a lot of people are finding it difficult to, to, to actually um, do this. So I, I want to show you. Let's go on, um, let's go on um, Trust Wallet. I use Trust Wallet. You can actually use um, MetaMask Wallet, but I use Trust Wallet. So now this is my Trust Wallet dashboard. Now... What you want to do is, the first thing you want to do is deposit Smart Chain, not BNB, Smart Chain. You might be wondering, is it not the same thing? It's not the same thing. Now, if you might ask, okay, how can I deposit Smart Chain? If you tap Smart Chain, you see at the top here, you see buy, you click buy. Now, you can buy from Simplex. But the thing is they have a minimum deposit or a minimum amount you can buy which is bnb worth of 150 usd now you might want to start small you don't have 150 usd to spare so and you don't know what else to do i want to show you if you have 150 usd to spare or to to, to invest you can just click next buy and that's all that's what you need but if you don't have 150 dollar now you might be asking how can i get smart chain what you want to do is go on Binance. If you have a Binance account, fine. If you don't have, open one. I might drop a link in the description below, in the description below of this video. So I have Binance, so I'm going to go on Binance. Once you go on Binance, uh, what you want to do is, this is my Binance dashboard. What you want to do is locate BNB. You want to locate BNB. So once you locate BNB, this video might be a little bit long, but I'm going to try and make it very, very educating. Now, once you click BNB, what you want to do is right now, you want to deposit BNB. Now, how can you deposit BNB? If you are outside Nigeria, you can either use, you can use the buy with card. But if you are in Nigeria, you can't use buy with card because of the latest cryptocurrency ban the government put on cryptocurrencies in Nigeria. So what the, 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 other, the other option is P2P, what you are seeing here. So once you click P2P, as you can see, you see USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, Ethereum. So you want to click BNB. Right now, you would see a lot of people who wants to sell BNB, see their limits. You see their, their quantity and their limits. So you look for the one that best fits the amount you want to spend. So this, the, this trust me guy. His limit is from 1,000 Naira to 7,000 Naira. So if you are the kind of person that want to start small, this is what you should be looking at. But mind you, mind you, let's say for instance, you have purchased BNB. I want to show you something so that you'll be aware. So that you'll be aware. Now, let's say for instance, you have purchased BNB and now you want to send it. You want to send it to your... I want to send it right now to your Trust Wallet account. Let's go back to our Trust Wallet let's click smart chain once you click smart chain you click receive once you click receive you copy the address once you copy this address then you go back to your binance once you go back to your binance you click let's say for instance you've already purchased bnb you click withdraw once you click withdraw you add you add the um um, um address once you add the address i want to show you something right now click mask max meaning let's say you want to use all the amount of bnb you purchased to 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 transfer to your smart chain now i want you to come down and see something here as you can see it said withdrawal must be at least 0.05 bnb 
Do you understand? So you need to calculate what is the amount of 0.05 BNB. 0.05 BNB is is thirty dollars, if I'm not mistaken, as we speak. Thirty dollars. Now, so meaning meaning you cannot transfer anything below thirty dollars. But this is even better. This is better than um this is better than trust wallets because trust wallet if you want to buy from trust wallet you, the minimum is one hundred and fifty dollar but this one now it's saying zero point zero five BNB which is thirty dollar so it's still preferable even if you want to start small thirty dollars is still something you can still start with do you understand now let me show you something when you added the address look at this other part where, where they said network it automatically fetched out the network for you to smart chain. You automatically uh, um, 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 get the network to smart chain. Let me click it for you. Let's see. You see this BEP2. BEP2 is for BNB. Let me go back to Trust Wallet so you see. As you can see, we have BNB and we have smart chain. These are two. These are the same thing. They are the same thing. But two different channels. So if you want to send to BNB. Now, this is what you use to, if you want to send to BNB, BEP2. Now, if you want to send to Smart Chain, Smart Chain, this is what you would use. You would use BEP20. So, you don't even need to add it. You don't need to add it. Once you put it, um, Binance will automatically detect the, uh, um, the address and know that, okay, this is Smart Chain or this is BNB. Let me try and change it to BEP2. You see the response it will give you. Well, as you can see, the error. It said this address does not match. Do you understand? So it is definitely BEP20. Do you understand? So let's say, for instance, you now send your smart chain, your BNB to your smart chain wallet. It will appear here. So once it once it appear appears here, you are 60, 70 percent done with everything. What you want to do now is click this browser. Once you click this browser, you locate Pancake Swap. Do you understand? As you can see, it is, it is part of my history because I've been making use of it. But if you are just doing it for the first time, you might not see it on your history. So what you want to do? You want to scroll down and go to Exchange. This is Exchange. As you can see, this is Pancake Swap. So you just click it. Once you click it, it will take you to somewhere like this. Once you take you to somewhere like this, this account, as you can see, is already connected. That's why you can see this my um um address O X zero X two seven blah blah blah. So let me log out. Once I log out. Now, this is how it will appear once you just enter. You see connect. Do you understand? So, most of us, the lot of issues we are facing while connecting is once we click connect, it may not go. Let me show you something. This is the reason why it doesn't go when you try to connect your pancake swap to your trust wallet. Now, let me show you. Look at this icon here. Tap it. Most times, by default, you do enter Ethereum by default so once you just come in by the first time for the first time you see ethereum something here this ethereum um, icon here so if you click connect connect to trust wallet see the error unsupported chain id unsupported chain id error check your chain id so a lot of people don't understand that this is the cause so they try all their possible best they feel they are not doing it right yes this is the cause so what you want to do is tap here once you tap here and change it to smart chain once you change it to smart chain once you change it to smart chain and you click connect once you click on and click trust wallet automatically as you can see i am connected and right here it is showing my balance as you can see showing my balance here this is the 0 0.03 bnb that's what i have right now as we speak now let me show you something 0 0.0 0 0.03 bnb okay that's what i have right now okay let me just run this through so later i can um explain further so let's say for instance you want to buy um safe moon token now what you want to do is click here search for safe moon s a f e safe moon it's already there do you understand so what you want to do is just click it once you click safe moon it's already there I already I already bought safe moon I already bought two point something million safe moon now i don't really believe in this cryptocurrency but since everyone is buying it i just don't want to be left behind now i just spent only two dollars buying this currency so it's it's something i can risk do you understand so what you want to do now is a lot of people do have issues also in this place once they've connected their accounts their trust wallet to 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 pancake swap and trying to buy safe moon they are still getting error now let me show you something let me show you something by default by default when you just do this for the first time this might be 
your spillage tolerance that will be 0 0.1 or 1. Now, so let's say for instance, I want to buy um, 1,000. I want to buy 1,000 safe mono. Do you understand? So if I click swap, confirm swap. Okay. As you see, it went through immediately, but I'm not buying. So what I just want to do is click send. As you can see below here, this is the network fee. 1.16 USD. That's the network fee. Basically, it's just taking net, network fee for this purchase. You understand? So if I click send, it will go now. But I'm not buying because I already have. I already have 2 point something million safe mode. So, but what I wanted to say is some people do have issues in this aspect. Once you click swap, it will tell you error. Now, in case it tells you error, what you want to do is click this um, 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 settings icon. Then change your spillage. Increase the number. You can increase it to 15. Do you understand? Don't worry. Forget about your transaction. Maybe 4 whatever. Forget about it. So because it happened to me, just change it to something higher. Change it to 10 or 15. Then click swap. It will automatically swap. Do you get me? So I've talked about how you can connect your um, pancake swap to your trust wallet. I've also talked about in case you're having issues, error, trying to, trying to, um, swap a coin for another just always make sure you check your spillage and increase the, the spillage tolerance the, the 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 transaction will go successfully and, as, and i've also talked about how you can get um smart chain it's smart chain you need not bnb don't forget it's smart chain you need so I've, I've also talked about how you can get smart chain in case you don't have 150 dollar to buy directly you can get it from bnb so you buy smart chain bnb you buy bnb what of what of let's say 30 or 35 dollars just for in case maybe they ask for transaction fee you can buy like 35 dollars worth of bnb then once you buy 35 dollars worth of bnb you go on you go on your um your trust wallet you check for smart chain if you can't find smart chain amongst the list of coins in your dashboard just click this sign here once you click this sign here just search for the coin or any coin you want then on it you gotta switch it off or switch it on do you understand then it will appear on your dashboard so i want to believe that will be all if you have any more questions to ask you can drop your questions if this video has been helpful to you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and um and and just comment comment guys thank you very much so i'll be looking back and see if there's anything i didn't touch but i want to believe i, I touched everything touchable all right guys thank you very much